Good morning, everyone. I'm Sonali Sharma. I teach at Jamia Millia Islamia University, New Delhi. My today's presentation is on collaboratively reimagining spaces through socially engaged creative practices. Socially engaged creative practices often merge art with activism, creating a powerful platform for raising awareness, challenging social norms, and advocating for change. They involve artists and media practitioners working directly with communities, often focusing on marginalized voices and addressing specific concerns. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on collaboration with communities to reimagine and transform spaces. New Delhi, India is the second most populated city in the world undergoing drastic transformations in the recent decades that have changed the cityscape. Small visual arts organizations like Coach International Artists Association, based in New Delhi, emerged as a significant catalyst in the city from its inception in 1997 in fostering contemporary visual arts and cultural exchange. In more than 25 years, the structurally small Non-Profit Artists Collective has provided a dynamic platform for experimentation, collaboration, and critical dialogue. It attempts to serve as a space that supports experimental and interdisciplinary art practices in India. Its residency programs offer artists dedicated time, space, and resources to engage in innovative and cross-disciplinary artistic practices. Its continued efforts to make contemporary art accessible and inclusive through public interventions, workshops, and artist talks are evident as it locates itself in Kirki village, a part of the city which oversees the glitzy malls and posh residential areas on one side, with court studios on the other side, sharing space with migrants and refugees from Afghanistan, Nigeria, Somalia, all of them leasing spaces from the residents of this neighborhood. It integrates itself into the fabric of the local community, strengthening networks between these diverse local communities through morals and educational programs for the inhabitants. Often in a sprawling density like Delhi, smallness of physical space and small budgets can also be a privilege. Especially considering the close engagement it potentially offers with the public regarding long-term collaborations. The curatorial initiatives of Coach include exhibitions, workshops and symposia that promote critical dialogue and engage with contemporary socio-political issues with a strong emphasis on research and community engagement. In November-December 2022, Coach presented a bilingual exhibition in Hindi and English titled Threading the Horizon, Propositions on World Making Through Socially Engaged Art Practice. The stimulus for this presentation comes from the encounter with the 14 research-driven community-based projects curated at the gallery. My presentation emphasizes the complex power relations between the artists, activists, and their communities' collaborators, the bonds of care and compassion formed in and through the projects, and how they may carry forward during the various production, curation, and exhibition processes. It raises the following questions. How can tracing the artists, activists' entangled praxis with diverse everyday environments and the alternative production of urban, rural, physical, online spaces and imaginaries help us expand our understanding of socially engaged creative practices? How may the artists, activists pay attention to their human collabor collaborators and the non-human environment to create more inclusive projects, develop nuanced ways to strengthen their voices and share their collective ideas and experiences. Drawing on the Sarto's understanding of the procedures of everyday creativity and a Lefebvrean approach to look at spaces, the qualitative study examines women's 
which includes artists, activists, and the communities, endeavors to one, res resiliently reimagine Delhi as an urban setting, two, to reclaim public spaces for leisure, and three, reconfigure real and online spaces on Instagram through the entanglements of socially engaged creative practices with quotidian experiences. Through specific projects, I highlight the transformative nature of socially engaged creative practices that speak to their specific urban contexts to foster collective agency, transcend aesthetic boundaries, and engage with social, political, and cultural issues. The three projects are Panch Bigha Zameen, One Acre Land, Fursat Ki Fizai, Spaces for Leisure, and Ao Jagah Banai, Come Let's Make Space. In particular, I explore the how and why of five artists, activists, and their three projects, how they intervene in the everyday experience of negotiating violence through invisibilities, rights, inequality, and leisure by women and gendered others in the capital city. How the projects in the gallery act as sites of conversation and reflection. And why is it significant to delve into the everyday urban and digital context in which these projects unfold and will eventually and hopefully be archived. The artists, activists, site-specific placemaking interventions are characterized by transformative processes that emerge from their close, long-term engagement, dialogue, and collaboration with participating communities and other artists, curators, designers. Space reflects social conditions when conceived as a social product. Lefebvre calls for the citizens' right to the city has attained a renewed significance in the constantly evolving urban contexts, especially in an expanding metropolis like New Delhi, which is always witnessing a transformation and negotiation of space. Project spaces run by artists are connected to their communities. The communities discussed in my presentation existed in their respective neighborhood before the projects were undertaken. Also, the physical urban spaces have witnessed long-term engagement of the artists in all three projects with the residents given voice and feeling a gradual sense of involvement, even ownership, over the unfolding activities in these spaces. Even still, it is essential to note that the artists often significantly differ from the residents in class. A Lefebvrean understanding of the production of space encompasses three dimensions. Spatial practice or perceived space, spatial representation or conceived space, and the representation spaces or lived space. In this presentation, I examine the projects through these three dimensions. First, I begin with the spatial practices in the respective projects. For example, how the women residents in Pursat Kifizai reflect on the use of their everyday space and their social interactions. Next, I focus on how space is represented in maps, texts, and artistic works like videos and installations. I then turn to the representation spaces, which looks at the experience of these different spaces and what they may symbolize in the social imagination of the city. Stuart Hall foregrounds the role of interpretations and meaning-making practices while discussing how representations do not portray reality neutrally. Representation allows a shift between presence and absence. It links presence and absence by making these communities visible and thus imaginable to those with infrequent or no engagement with these places. Through a close examination of these projects, I also draw attention to a critical understanding of representation as Spivak says, speaking for and talking about, where the term emerges in two very different ways, represent as delegating authority and re-present as in portrayal. Both these sides are different but not detached.
The first project I take up is Panch Bigha Zameen, One Acre Land by the architect and artist activist Swati Chanu in collaboration with the Social Design Collaborative. The project based in Yamuna Khadar, Delhi sought to actively support the women farmers' rights to lives and livelihoods in the floodplains of Yamuna River. The project takes its name from the traditional unit of land measurement in India called Bigha, which is approximately equal to one third of an acre. It focuses on reclaiming and securing these land rights for farmers and the living conditions of these women farmers. The project enables them to reclaim their agency and promote a more inclusive and just society through various initiatives like public walks, documented and shared on social media, especially Instagram, and bottom-up mapping of Yamuna floodplains. Chalo Yamuna or Let's Go to Yamuna Walks is one example where the artists' activists have facilitated dialogue with women farmers and initiated conversations within these communities. Panch Bigha Zameen adopts a participatory and community-driven approach, engaging with farmers to understand their needs, aspirations, and challenges. It actively engages with these communities, especially women, to build trust and foster dialogue. Through workshops, meetings, and discussions, it attempts to understand their aspirations, dreams, and requirements regarding land ownership as they face eviction by the city authorities. The project looks at what is farmed in a five bigha plot, what it contributes to the city, and what it costs the farmer. The installation by the artists had Pooja Verma, a community leader and a nursery farmer, create a vibrant nursery within the courtyard of Court Studios. It drew attention to the eviction of a nursery along the Yamuna. It inspired questions with photos and videos of her story. Fursit Ki Fizai, or Spaces for Leisure by the spatial design practitioners Divya Chopra and Riti Mandal emerged from the leisure experience of women in Madanpur Khadar, an urban village in South Delhi. Rarely seen occupying public spaces for leisure, women reclaimed a small terrace to sit and have tea together. Women whose lives were occupied mainly by household responsibilities and work outside. As spatial design practitioners, the artists have demonstrated a commitment to creating spaces that are responsive to the needs of communities and contribute to social and environmental sustainability. The project approach combines research, collaboration, and interdisciplinary perspectives to develop holistic solutions that positively impact the urban fabric. Through innovative and socially engaged strategies like mapping to configure the gendering of spaces, drawing exercises with the women, the project attends to the themes of urban regeneration, public spaces, and participatory planning processes. Drawing on their past engagements in the same locality over past several years, the artists started meeting young girls and women in the Jagori office to discuss their ideas and experiences of leisure and spaces of leisure. The closest safe, accessible park was three to six kilometers from the colony. Steps in front of the houses and more often terraces emerged as open spaces for women's leisure activities. 
the installation at Court Studios emulates the Jagauri office terrace reclaimed by the women of Madan Khadar as a site of leisure. It invites the visitor to have a cup of tea or engage in a game of carom board. The third project is Our Jagah Banai by the co-founders of City Sabha, Saleha Sapra and Riddhi Batra. It sought to empower informal women vendor groups in Raghubir Nagar, New Delhi, facing spatial injustice in an everyday context riddled with deeply entrenched patriarchy. The project began with the artist's statement, a call for action to include and empower women vendor groups working in the urban informal sector to reimagine, reclaim and further co-create their everyday spaces of work. Soon, the project team realized the need for self-sustained, consistent, long-term engagement. It adopted a participatory generative thinking approach, encouraging residents, especially women vendors, to transform neglected spaces into communal gathering spots, recreational areas, or cultural hubs. The project first sought to map their identities and then empower individuals, fostering a sense of ownership as the project unfolded. It deeply engaged with 12 community members from the age of 16 to 60. Their efforts to fostering a sense of ownership also enhanced social cohesion by involving the women in designing and activating these urban public spaces. Here we can see two of the women vendors sharing their life stories but with others in the community and other people who would frequent these public spaces. Here are images from a call to claim public spaces like parking to draw attention to the everyday lives of these women vendors. The projects highlight the importance of co-creation, dialogue and mutual respect in community engagement. They open conversations and serve as exciting sites to discuss collaboration and participation, emphasizing the principles of inclusivity and shared ownership. Socially engaged artworks are multidisciplinary and complex and involve multiple elements that may be considered on a project by project basis. In this context, the processes of curating the installations and documentation methods are both significant for an organization like Koj, making it essential to record the artists, activists, ideation and production processes. Coach uses photography, walkthrough videos, and formal and informal visitor surveys for documentation. In many curated and exhibited projects, capturing the interactive components may not be sufficient by just recording the physical installation or how it functions. It is also essential to find ways to explain the context, the various relations of the project, and its effect on the audience. Audience engagement should also be closely observed to understand how future audiences may comprehend these projects when they are no longer being exhibited. Interactivity through mixed media and online media can enhance socially engaged creative practices by facilitating communication, participation and dialogue between artists, communities and audience. These platforms provide spaces for interaction enabling audience to respond, share their perspectives, and contribute to ongoing conversations. Audience artists can and often do use websites, blogs, social media profiles, or dedicated platforms to share work, document community projects, and encourage dialogue. The interactive installations at Code Studios invite the audience to engage with the artwork actively. These installations incorporated various forms of media such as sound, video or, and physical and digital interfaces to encourage participants to interact with the artworks. They, they have the potential to foster a deeper connection and dialogue around the quotidian experience of women by involving the audience 
directly. An example is what you see on the slide. Artists of the project Fursat Ki Fizai have used basic QR technology to provide interactive narratives and more information to enable users on social media to explore and engage with the social context of a particular place. And in this case, it's evident that this is the neighborhood where, they, uh, where the women reside. Online platforms such as Instagram facilitate communication between various artists and other stakeholders. They can enable the exchange of ideas, resources and experiences, fostering a sense of collective ownership and participation in the creative process. They strengthen social networks by connecting individuals and communities.